So in module three, we're going to start adding to our script and giving us the ability to control our player moving with a keyboard or mouse. Um, we could also control it with a uh, joystick if you wanted to. Um, let's look at what we're doing right now. So if I play my game, so the player is moving on its own. And let's take a quick look at that. Yeah, not this one. We want the practice script is the one we have on right now. So I'd like you just to take a quick look at this and stop the video and see if you can figure out exactly what this means. The more you practice this, um, the better you'll be at it and the easier it'll be. Um, in my classes, we've been taught that it takes someone seven times, hearing something seven times to fully understand it. I think it's probably 14 to 20. But with programming or anything that's technical, the more you practice it, the better you're going to be at it and the easier it's going to be. So hopefully you realize that this means we can control um, our variable in our game. So we have access to it when we're playing the game. This means we can use a value for a uh, our variable of either a, a whole number or a decimal. And let's make it a decimal just for practice. And remember, we have to have a um, an F for floating point decimal if we make it a decimal. But float means we can use a decimal. This is the variable we're going to use. But that means you pick the name of the variable. And make sure you pick a name of a variable that means something to you. So um, give it a name so that when you look at it in your game or someone looks at your code, they realize, OK, this is the speed. This is shooting, jumping, um, firing, uh, et cetera. So they know what that variable is going to stand for when they see it. So originally, we had the um, player start at 0, 0, 0 and move 1 uh, to the left and up 3 when the game started one time and then stop. And then we changed it so that now every frame, our player is going to be moving to the right um, every frame of the game and not moving to the left or not moving up or forwards or backwards. And let's go ahead and make this negative. So we'll see it move to the left now. And remember, time dot delta time means it's going to move the same speed no matter um, how fast our processor is. Let me save it and go back to my game. Let it compile. And let's play it. Now it should move to the left. And of course, we can control the speed of that by just changing this. Now, we want to make our player jump. So when we have a script that's on our an object, remember, Unity and most video game um, software programs require that the script be on an object to compile. Um, we're going to remove the script easily by just making sure you're on the object that it's on and just click on the three dots, remove component. And let's put our jump up script on that player. Just drag it up, let it go, and let's make sure there it is. Now let's take a look at um, what we, we're going to be using. So in order to control our um, objects moving or jumping or firing um, and just using those terms, we need to go ahead and tell Unity we're going to use these terms. So these are the input manager, which um, Unity looks at and uses. So that means if we go to, let me do it again, edit 
project settings and then input manager in this case we can use all these terms so we're going to start making our player move uh, forwards and backwards and left and right using a mouse or keyboard we're going to use horizontal or vertical we can just type these in and you can see it's a, a a or d key or the mouse button also so arrow keys left and right so in this case we want to jump so for jump we can type jump it's going to be the space bar okay and we could change it to a different key if we wanted to you can also fool around with the gravity uh, the pull sensitivity of your mouse but I'm going to leave those as they are. So I need to tell Unity I'm going to use the input manager and I'm going to get this axis. I'm going to get this axis jump. So let's take a look at that. So the first thing I want to do is to find my uh, variable as to um, the force I want to jump with. So I want to be able to control that. If we get in the game, um, and it uh, starts going, it isn't jumping fast enough or high enough, um, I want to be able to change it in the game. And of course, we're going to make it a decimal, control of a decimal, and we're picking a term that means something. You can pick any term you want, but in this case, I know it's the force with which I'm jumping. Okay, so now I need to go down and tell Unity, I'm going to get that access um, jump. I want to use it. And I want to define a term that I can use every time I want to get that access jump. I could use it in the script as many times as I wanted to. Um, but in this case, I'm going to um, assign it a value so I can use a float if I want to. And I'm going to give it the variable jump up. And when I type jump up, it tells Unity I'm going to get the access jump. It could be the axis horizontal or vertical, fire, etc. But in this case, when I type jump up, Unity knows I'm going to get this axis and use it. And we have to tell Unity we're going to use it in our script. We can't just start typing jump. But once we type jump, then we can use it in any script. Um, so, again, we're going to get the position of the player. We're going to translate and move it. We're not going to move it on the X. Or the Z, it's not going left or right, forwards or backwards. It's going to um, jump up 3.2, and it's going to uh, use the uh, access jump up. So jumping up. So let's save it. Oh, sorry, we didn't change it. And let's play our game. Yeah, so spacebar um, didn't, I mean, it works, right? But it's working way too fast. So if we want to make sure this jump um, option the axis when we when we push down the space bar um, operates at the same speed no matter what process we have we have to put that time that delta time in you can see I have a fast processor on this computer and so that just took off let's save it and let's go back let it compile Let's play it now. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm going up. I'm not coming down. So let's see if we can figure out what's happening here. So we know what makes us come down is we have physics on our body. We have physics on our player and uh, we don't have the gravity activated so we come down because of gravity right so 
let's play it again so we're jumping we're not jumping very high let's try 20 and remember that's why we made a public variable perfect so there is no right or wrong um, well, whatever value you want to put in for your game there is no right and wrong to colors and if you want to add stuff to your game I encourage you to if you want to change the script a little bit I encourage you to but make sure it does my basic function first before you modify it now one problem we're going to see is I think when we jump I can keep jumping and we're going to fix that in the next lesson and probably this week or next we're going to get it moving with the uh, keyboard where we can control it not moving on its own all right so give this a try um, take your time with it any problems email me and see if you can start writing this on your own there's nothing wrong with making a mistake and remember when you make a mistake um, as long as it's yellow it clears I mean, these are not uh, problems you're going to not play but if it comes in here and there's an error message and you get that um, compiler error then you realize there's a problem with your code go to that line and see if you can fix it all right give it a try and let me know if you have any problems so let's we should know what to do right <laughs> 